Dear students, in this session, we will discuss the topic equation of straighter line. It is a part of coordinate geometry. In the previous chapter also, it is related to coordinate geometry. And equation of straight line is also related to coordinate geometry. Are you aware of what is meant by coordinate geometry? Last year also we learned. Coordinate geometry is a branch of mathematics which deals with or which is helpful to solve geometrical problems using the properties of algebra. It is a, a branch of mathematics which helps us to solve geometrical sums or problems using or with the help of Properties of algebra. That is called coordinate geometry. Correct? The question arises: why should we learn the topic equation of straight line? So we will represent a straight line in Cartesian system. So what is meant by Cartesian system? Cartesian system means two mutually perpendicular lines will be there x dash negative numbers x positive y positive y negative this is origin suppose if i represent a line a b this is a one way of representing the line on Cartesian system, isn't it? It is neither parallel to x-axis or neither parallel to y-axis, isn't it? Is it uh, the only one way to represent the line in the Cartesian system? No. We can represent the line using the equation. How can we get the equation for a straight line? We can get the equation for a straight line using the coordinates points. Using the coordinate points. Understood? Using coordinate points. Okay? Now, we will discuss some definitions related to some uh, important uh, terms related to this chapter. Related to the chapter. Okay. First point I want to discuss is angle of inclination. Angle of inclination. Angle of inclination. Observe this figure here. This is x, x dash. Sorry, x dash, x. This is what origin or dash. The straight line is there. A B is the straight line. The angle made by the angle made by the straight line A B with the positive side of x-axis with the positive side of x-axis in anti-clockwise direction. So this is the angle made by the straight line AB with the positive side of the x-axis positive side means positive numbers towards right side of x-axis in anti-clockwise direction in anti-clockwise direction and that angle is represented by theta so this theta is called angle of inclination so what do you mean by angle of inclination the angle made by the straight line AB with the x positive side of the x axis and measured in anti-clockwise direction is called 
angle of inclination, angle of inclination. So remember this uh, point. No need to write all this definition. So what is meant by horizontal line? Horizontal line means it is always parallel to x axis. If it is parallel to x axis, then it is called horizontal line. Here theta is equal to zero. Why theta is equal? Angle is equal to zero because it is not making any angle with the x axis. Correct? It is not making any angle with the x axis. Therefore, theta will be always equal to zero for horizontal line. Theta is equal to zero degree. Horizontal line theta is equal to zero degree. Suppose if it is parallel to y axis, if it is if it is parallel to y axis, if it is parallel to y axis, then if it is parallel to y axis, here if it is parallel to y axis, then it is making an angle with the x axis. That angle is nothing but water. 90 degrees because it is perpendicular to x axis. So this line is called vertical line. This line is called vertical line and theta will be always equal to 90 degrees because it is perpendicular to x axis. Understood children? Okay. So in a horizontal line that means when it is parallel to x axis the angle will be always equal to 0, theta will be equal to 0. Why? Because it is not making any angle with the x axis. If it is parallel to y axis, it is perpendicular to x axis, therefore it is making an angle of 90 degree with the x axis. If a line is neither parallel nor perpendicular or neither horizontal nor vertical, then that line is called oblique line. That line is called as oblique line. We can get the value not 0 degree, not 90 degree, other than 0 and 90 degree angles. That line is called as oblique line. Previously I told no man, line. Suppose it is passing through like this. So that, that this line is not the parallel to x axis or parallel to y axis. So therefore, this type of line is called what? Oblique line. Oblique line. Understood? Oblique line. Oh, sure. Now we come to the next uh, point. Slope. Next point is slope or gradient. Slope or one more term can use for this is gradient. So I told already in the, when I am explaining the definition related to angle of inclination. So if theta is the angle of inclination then the value of tan theta, the value of tan theta is called, the value of tan theta is called slope or gradient. The slope is always represented by m. The value of tan theta is nothing but a slope or a gradient. The slope is represented by the alphabet small m. It is represented by the alphabet small then one, one more method here one more formula is there to find out the slope that is nothing but suppose in a Cartesian system in a Cartesian system in a Cartesian system 
So you have to find out the slope of a straight line, of a straight line AB. This is x1, y1. This is x2, y2. So find the slope means if two points are given, then we can use the formula y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. So this is the formula to find the slope of a straight line if two coordinate points are given. If two coordinate points are given, you should remember it. Okay? So we have to remember these formulas. You should not uh, forget it. Okay? I will come to the next topic. So, condition for polymeriality, condition for polymeriality means, suppose if A, B, C points are lying on the same line, then slope of A, B, slope of, slope of A, B is equal to slope of B, C, slope of B, C. So the slope two slope should be equal to each other. slope of AB should be equal to slope of the BC. Then we can say A, B, C are collinear points. Collinear means the same the points are lying on the same line. The points are lying on the same line. Okay? Right. So one more point I want to discuss is intercepts made by the line on the anchors. Intercepts. Intercepts. Do not understand intercepts made by the straight line on the axis. Do not understand. Observe this uh, figure. This is a partition system representing two mutually perpendicular lines. Isn't it? Y, Y dash. Y, Y dash. Now we have to draw a line AB. AB is the line. It meets at P and Q. P means its value is 0, comma y. Its value means x comma 0. So AB is the line. AB is the line. Uh, PQ is the line you can say. PQ is the line. PQ is the line. PQ is the line meeting at x axis as well as at a y axis. So this distance, the, the distance of the point Q from the origin, the distance of the point Q from the origin, that is nothing but how much distance? The x. It is called x intercept. It is called as x-intercept. The distance from the origin to the point P on the y-axis, it is called as y-intercept. The distance is how many meters? Y, y units, not meters, y units. So always the y-intercept is represented by the alphabet C. The y-intercept is always represented by the alphabet C. So, what is meant by intercepts? If a straight line meets the x axis and y axis at some points, then the distance from origin to the point on x axis is called x intercept. The distance from the origin to the point on y axis is called y intercept. And it is always represented by C. Always represented by C. Now we move on to the next uh, topic. Next uh, topic. That is. Next topic is. Equation of a line. Or equation of a straight line. In various form. Suppose. How to find a equation of a line parallel to x axis? Equation of a line parallel to parallel to x axis. 
equation of a line parallel to x axis. So if you are doing here, equation of a line parallel to x axis. This is A B. This A B line is parallel to x axis. Then what happens here if it is a parallel to x axis? Suppose it is meeting the y axis at some point. So therefore, that is nothing but x value will be zero. Therefore, remaining y value will be y is equal to b or y minus b is equal to zero. This is the equation. So equation of a line parallel to x axis means y is equal to b. So or y minus b is equal to zero. X value will be zero. So we cannot take that. Equation of a line. Equation of a line parallel to y axis. Equation of a line parallel to y axis. Observe this figure. X dash x y y dash. Equation of a line parallel to y axis parallel to y axis. This is P. This is Q. It is meeting somewhere here on the x axis. So therefore, it becomes x comma zero or a comma zero. Y value will be zero. Only you will get the x value. Therefore, x is equal to a or x minus a is equal to zero. This is the equation of the line parallel to y axis. So remember this two points. Now we will move on to one more point or one more term. Slope interceptor forum. Slope interceptor forum. So that is called equation of the oblique lines in various forms. Now we got oblique lines. Oblique lines means which is neither parallel to x-axis or but uh, parallel to x-axis or parallel to y and such lines are called as oblique lines. Such lines are called as what? Oblique lines. Okay. So I will discuss about uh, this uh, oblique uh, that is a slope intercept form. And some formulas in the next session. Okay? Thank you.